Have you ever wondered how your favorite moisturizer is made? A straightforward question, yet one that opens a door to a world of fascinating science and careful craftsmanship. Today, we're going to delve deep into this intriguing topic and shed light on the elusive art of moisturizer making. Moisturizers, the unsung heroes of our skincare routines, are more than just a final touch to our daily regimen. They're a barrier, a shield, if you will, that protects our skin from the harsh realities of the world, from dry air to biting cold. They help retain our skin's natural moisture, keeping it supple and radiant. But what exactly gives a moisturizer its magic? At its core, a moisturizer is a harmonious blend of three main components, water, oil and emulsifiers. Sounds simple, doesn't it? But each ingredient plays a pivotal role in the grand scheme of skin care. Let's begin with water, the unsung hero of hydration. It's the most abundant ingredient in most moisturizers, providing instant hydration to parched skin. But water alone isn't enough. It evaporates quickly and with it goes the skin's natural moisture. That's where our second ingredient, oil, steps in. Oils in a moisturizer act as occlusive agents. They create a protective layer on the skin's surface, trapping the water within and preventing it from evaporating. This ensures that the hydration lasts longer, keeping your skin plump and dewy. But water and oil don't mix, do they? That's true. And that's where our third ingredient, emulsifiers, come into play. Emulsifiers are the peacekeepers, the diplomats of the moisturizer world. They convince the water and oil to coexist, creating a smooth, creamy texture that feels oh so luxurious on the skin. So, that's what moisturizer is made of. But how does it all come together? Let's find out. Every moisturizer starts with three main ingredients, water, oil, and emulsifiers. Now, let's break this down, shall we? First up, water. It's the most abundant ingredient in moisturizers, making up around 70 to 80% of the total content. This isn't just any old tap water, though. Most often, it's distilled or purified to ensure that it's free from any impurities that could potentially irritate the skin or degrade the product's shelf life. Water serves as the delivery system for the other ingredients and plays a vital role in hydrating the skin, giving it that plump, healthy look we all crave. Next, we have oil. Now, before you start picturing a greasy face, let's clear up a common misconception. The oils used in moisturizers are not the same as the ones you cook with. They can range from natural oils like jojoba or argan to synthetic ones like mineral oil. These oils are critical because they create a barrier on the skin that helps lock in the moisture, preventing it from evaporating. This is especially beneficial in dry climates or during the colder months when the air itself is drier. Last on the list, but certainly not least, are emulsifiers. These are the unsung heroes of the moisturizer world. They act as a sort of peacekeeper between the water and oil, which, as we know, don't usually mix well. Emulsifiers bind these two elements together, ensuring that your moisturizer has a smooth, consistent texture. They can come from a variety of sources, including plant-based materials like lecithin or synthetic compounds. The process of creating a moisturizer begins with heating water and oil separately. The dance of creation begins in two separate vessels. In the first vessel, we find water, the essence of life, being gently warmed. This isn't a rapid boil, mind you, we're not making tea here. Instead, we're slowly raising the temperature, allowing the molecules to start moving, to start dancing. The target temperature is usually around 70 to 75 degrees Celsius, just hot enough to make a pleasant bath. Meanwhile, in the second vessel, we find the oil, now, oil is a crucial component of moisturizers. It's what gives them their luxurious feel, their ability to lock in moisture. The oil, like the water, is heated, but to a slightly higher temperature. We're aiming for about 70 to 80 degrees Celsius for the oil. This slight increase in temperature allows the oil to mix more readily with the other ingredients. But what's a dance without a partner? Enter the emulsifiers. These are the matchmakers of our moisturizer mix. They encourage the water and oil, two elements that would normally keep to their own corners, to come together in a harmonious blend. The emulsifiers are added to the oil while it's still warm. They're stirred in, creating a mixture that's ready and eager to embrace the water. The temperature is crucial here. Too hot, and the emulsifiers might not work properly. 
Too cold and they might solidify before they have a chance to do their job. It's a delicate balance, a dance of temperatures and ingredients. But with care and precision, the dance leads to something beautiful. A mixture that's more than the sum of its parts. A mixture that's ready to hydrate, to nourish, to soothe. With the oil and emulsifiers mixed, we're ready to bring it all together. It's time to mix the heated oil and water together. Now, this is where the magic truly happens. Imagine a symphony of elements coming together, each playing its part to create a harmonious blend. The heated oil, rich with emollients and emulsifiers, is about to meet the warm water, and this encounter will bring our moisturizer to life. Picture this. You're holding a ladle of water poised above the oil and emulsifier mixture. You begin to pour, ever so slowly, a thin stream of water, making its way into the oil. This isn't a task to be rushed. Patience is the key. Each drop of water is incorporated into the oil, creating a union that's both delicate and powerful. As the water merges with the oil, an emulsion starts to form. For those unfamiliar with the term, an emulsion is simply a blend of two liquids that wouldn't ordinarily mix. It's like creating a peace treaty between oil and water, convincing them to set aside their differences and work together. This is where our emulsifier earns its keep, playing the role of mediator, facilitating this unlikely alliance. The resulting emulsion is a sight to behold. It's creamy, it's smooth, and it's the very essence of what a moisturizer should be. But this transformation isn't immediate. It requires constant stirring. Yes, you heard it right. The stirring is crucial to ensure that the water and oil don't part ways. It's a bit like a dance, where the beat of the music guides the dancer's steps. The rhythm of the stirring keeps the oil and water in sync, ensuring they blend seamlessly into a single unified whole. As the stirring continues, the emulsion gradually thickens, its consistency evolving from a light cream to a more robust lotion. The transformation is fascinating, a testament to the power of chemistry and the wonders it can achieve. With our emulsion created, we're almost at the finish line. Our moisturizer is coming together beautifully, a testament to the perfect blend of science and art. Our moisturizer is almost ready, but there are a few final touches needed. Now let's delve into what these final touches are and why they're so crucial. The first step is the cooling process. You see, after all the vigorous mixing and heating, our mixture is quite hot. If we were to add our delicate ingredients right now, they would degrade or even evaporate due to the high temperature. So we need to let our concoction cool down to a more hospitable temperature. This cooling process is not just about patience, but it's about preserving the integrity and efficacy of our final ingredients. Now that our mixture is cooled, we can move on to the next touch. The addition of fragrances. Fragrances aren't just there to make your moisturizer smell like a bouquet of roses or a fresh spring morning. They also play a role in the overall experience of using the product. A pleasant scent can make applying moisturizer feel more like a pampering session than a chore, making you more likely to keep up with your skincare routine. Next, we add preservatives. Now, I know the term preservatives can sometimes sound a bit ominous, but they're actually very important. Without preservatives, your moisturizer would become a breeding ground for bacteria and fungi, which is definitely not something you want to be putting on your skin. Preservatives ensure that your moisturizer stays safe and effective for as long as possible. Lastly, we add specialty ingredients like vitamins. These ingredients can provide additional benefits to your skin, such as anti-aging effects or added hydration. Think of them as the cherry on top of an already delicious sundae. They enhance the overall performance of the moisturizer, making it more than just a simple hydrating agent. And there you have it, a finished moisturizer ready to nourish your skin. Let's take a moment to summarize the journey we've just taken. We began by unraveling the moisturizer mystery, breaking down the complex to the simple. We then delved into the ingredients, the building blocks of our product. Each one, whether it's a humectant to draw in moisture, an emollient to smooth and soften, or an occlusive to seal it all in, plays a vital role. From there, we embarked on our process. The ingredients were carefully measured, then methodically mixed, ensuring each component blended seamlessly with the others. The final touches, often the fragrances and preservatives, were then added, giving our moisturizer its distinctive charm and longevity. 
Each step, every ingredient contributes to the moisturizer's ability to hydrate, protect, and rejuvenate your skin. It's an intricate dance of science and artistry, one that results in a product we use daily, often without a second thought. Next time you apply your moisturizer, you'll know exactly what's gone into making it.